Welcome back. Uh, this is part two of the BMP bumper install, backwards bumper install. Um, we had to get the bumper, or the, excuse me, we had to get the, uh, the rear repaired um, and get a new one for the back of the sled. So we figured, hey, why not get the front? Um, so we got the non skid plate version. Uh, so we're going to walk you through the installation of the front bumper in the ski tube. So uh, part of the front bumper install is we're gonna have to pull the front plastics off and the exhaust. So first step is gonna be removing this little piece here. You're just gonna push down and pull up. And then we're gonna remove these two uh, bolts here. And that's the first steps. Next step is uh, you're gonna remove your side panels and then uh, make sure you pop off the uh, air intake clamp right there okay and then bubba's moving on to the top there so we're just pulling out that bolt and that bolt so we can get the hood off so on the gen 5s it is easier to take off the hood all you have to do is remove this screw right here okay uh, unplug those two there and do your air intake and the whole thing slides right off that is a whole lot easier than the, the gen 4 that's for sure blow onto the hood on the turb the turbo fancy okay next steps getting that bumper installed so we're gonna um just unplug these wires here this one in here that one and then we're gonna take there's an eight mil down in here we're gonna remove that so that'll Make it so that we don't have to pull these sensors out of the exhaust. And then next step, we're going to pull off the four springs on the turbo and down there on the uh, manifold off from the engine. So for pulling exhaust springs, uh, we have this little tool that was used in our uh, trampoline to pull the springs. Um, so again, Little pro tip, trampoline spring puller also works good as an exhaust spring puller. So next step is, now that we got the exhaust off, um, which, when you're taking the exhaust off, be careful. You, know, you got those uh, gaskets that are on there. You see, we still have this one on here. Just be super careful when you're taking that off. You don't want to damage those. Have an exhaust leak and lose power. Uh, so we got the one bolt out already because that held that, that um, the exhaust sensor module there and then we've got this other bolt here all right for the bumper and then we're gonna drill out these two pop rivets right there and uh, the bumper should slide right out okay so when you're drilling out these pop rivets a lot of times when they end up spinning on you so you gotta hold the head with some sort of tool so I don't even know what this tool is for but found it in the toolbox so we're gonna give it a shot here hey look at that so there you go just gotta find something to hold the hood and we got hot so careful we don't touch it So to get the bumper out, it's a little tricky. It's kind of stiff. It's kind of uh, wedged right in there. So you want to clear this, get it out of this little void right here. And then once you get out of the void, then it comes right out, should slide right out for you. A little tricky. A little funky, but you can get it out of there. Again, you just got to clear this little void right here on each side. Once you get it out of there, get it up through there on each side, then you can pull it right out. At first, it's kind of intimidating, but you'll get it. All right, so the next step is we need to drill two holes uh, right here for this bracket over here, a uh, quarter inch. So that bracket goes right here, okay. 
and we're just gonna, you can see it's almost laid out for you. Um, quarter inch holes right there and right there. So when you're drilling these holes, um, the angle that you're gonna wanna come at is, is kinda like right here. Notice the angle that I'm coming at this with. Um, if you come at an angle of more up here, the drill bit's gonna walk on you and your holes are gonna get all messed up. It got a little goofy on the first one. But on the second one, again, kinda go slow when you're first getting started so it doesn't walk on you and your hole get all, your hole end up in the wrong spot. So again, just uh, take note, start slow, and about the angle that you want is right about there. All right? So getting this bumper in can be uh, intimidating or tricky. So what I did is I'm putting one end in first, okay? I'll try. You get it, Bob? <gasps> oh, clutch finger, sorry. Kind of goes on a little hard. So once you get that side, you get one end in like that, which kind of fights you a little bit. Probably having a second pair of hands helps. Then you can uh, feed the other side through. Kind of can wrestle it in there a little bit. It's not, it doesn't just go in there nice and easy. So, um, you know, you may swear a little bit on that one. So, now that we got the bumper. So on this step, there's gonna be two bolts down here. Um, the bumper's in the way. We probably should have drilled those out before we put the bumper in, but see my finger right there? There's two, uh, not bolts, there are um, popper bits that you gotta drill out. So this is where um, you find a good friend to help you out. So when you go to drill that, a lot of times those popper bits are gonna spin. So you're gonna wanna take some, uh, maybe some vice grips and just pinch the other side of the popper bit like that to prevent it from spinning. Um, once you get those two out, we're gonna put these two bolts up in there because there's four total, right? But that'll help hold it in place so that we can drill the other two holes. So that's where we're at now. All right, so we got the bumper mounted up. Um, just to recap, you gotta drill two holes here, okay? Those were the quarter inch holes, okay? Both sides, get them, you know, don't tighten them down right away, just get them in place, snug. Um, and then you gotta do four bolts on the bottom. Okay, you're gonna have to uh, drill out two popper vets and then drill two new holes. On this, you're gonna use your 3 16 drill bit. The smaller bolts go down here. So in your kit, you're gonna have six, right? Six of the quarter inch bolts. And then you have four of the 3 16 bolts. And uh, we were a little confused at, in the beginning. We weren't sure what bolts went where, but obviously six and four, that'll help you determine that. We did put a little bit of Loctite on here just cause um, want to be safe. And then I always try to put bolts facing down in case the nut falls off. Hopefully there's a chance that bolt will stay in. Um, as if you put it the other way, if the nut comes off, the bolt's gonna fall out, right? So uh, we're at that step uh, in the process. So the next step is we're going to drill out 3 16 holes for our popper vits for here, here, and over here, over here, to um, put the four popper vits in. And I think once that is complete, then we put it back together. So I'm gonna use a punch to um, set a divot in the bumper. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when you start to drill, because it is like a curved surface, it doesn't try to walk on it. Hopefully the drill bit has a little divot to um, keep itself in position as it drills in. Um, so we get a more accurate hole. So we got the exhaust back in. Exhaust springs, you know, they're always fun, especially when you uh, pull them up or they shoot out the puller. 
end up down in the motor and you got to go hunt for it. But make sure you have a magnet handy um, in case you do lose one. One thing I wanted to mention was uh, this electronic module here. We had to um, scavenge up a, a nut and bolt to throw in there because the old bolt, bolt goes into the old bumper. So just make sure you have a nut and bolt handy um, for that. You know, just it's plastic, so just don't over tighten that. And um, we use the neoprene nut, so we don't have to worry about it coming undone. Don't want these electronic modules falling down and melting on the exhaust, you know. Um, pretty much got it back together. Just gonna put the, the um, hood and plastics back on, side panels, fire it up, take it for a ride, and make sure everything's good. But so far, so good. All right, well, we got it all back together. Got a new bumper installed. Definitely the orange bumper set it off um, with the black stock one on there. Looks pretty awesome. Looks rugged as heck. Um, color matched everything pretty well with spindles and skid and all that. And uh, got our rear on. Looks pretty rugged. The tunnel will be nice and reinforced. And um, wasn't a bad install. Uh, I would say the new Gen 5s, uh, the hood's a lot easier to take off than the Gen 4s. Um, even with the turbo, the eight springs on the exhaust, it wasn't too awful bad. I swear the hardest part was, you know, just finding a nut and bolt and um, cinching down the, uh, that little module for the exhaust sensors. But other than that, Highly recommended, and um, hopefully she'll look good out in the snow and help us keep her protected. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.